Hello everybody, Bailey here and I'm here to show you how to use DCS with two monitors and not only do that but use it two monitors and export some screens onto that other monitor. So first things first, you're going to launch DCS and go to options here and we're going to set the resolution. I have an ultra wide 25 by 60. We're going to replace that with the combined resolution of both of our screens, which is scientifically 4480. 4480 is the number you want to put in there maybe not you it's going to be me uh it depends on your screen aspect ratio automatically populates bam just like that monitors let's see that at the one screen there's going to be a drop down here with lots of stuff i took that extra stuff out and don't worry about the demo we'll get to that later so one screen bam 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 okay that's the only two things you need to change resolution and the monitors and then we'll click okay uh dcs is going to start back up again and it's going to span both of our screens you can see my right screen on the bottom left of your screen makes sense right so you can see the UI is stretched across both screens, which is really weird, right? That's really weird. Well, it's supposed to do that. Okay, DCS internally is already set up for everything. Let's go ahead and exit DCS. The next thing you're going to do is right click on your desktop. You're going to bring up the display settings right here. And you want your number one screen, your first screen, your main monitor screen, the one you want to fly on in the top left. You'll see why later. And then you want your second screen next to that, below that, above that, whatever you want. Ignore the third screen. I have a triple monitor set up. Booyah. Let's exit right out of that. Next thing you'll want to do is download Notepad++. Notepad++. It's awesome. It's free. This is what we're going to use to change and code our monitor Lua. Done. Bam. I probably shouldn't have closed that. All right. Next thing you're going to navigate to your... DCS world, open beta or DCS world, install location. Mine is in G slash game slash DCS open beta, blah, 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 slash config slash monitor setup. And here you'll see a few different Lua's. As you saw before, I had one camera Lua and one camera demo, and these are both here. Go ahead and copy the camera Lua and uh, name it something else. And then go ahead and open the one you copied. Bam! Yours is going to look like this on the left. After we're done, it's going to look like this on the right. Take your time, pause the video, and just copy it over. To fix that GUI problem, how it searches on both screens, you're going to do this. GUI equals blah, 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 X, Y, width, height, main view. What does X and Y mean? X means length. Y means height. So X is width, Y is height. So the GUI starts to draw on the first pixel on the upper left. And then it goes a width of 2,560 pixels and then a height of 1,080 pixels. Bam, there you go. And then this little thing, I don't know why that's there, just put it in. All right, to get the MFDs on your other screen, here's what you're going to do. Remember what I said about uh, it draws from uh, left to right, up to down? You don't because I just said it. So if you put your GUI, let's say the GUI is this screen I'm floating around here, at x equals 0, y equals 10, you're going to have the x is 0, and then the y 10 pixels down like so. If you have it x equals 0, sorry, x equals... 2,560 plus 30, you're going to have it way over here, and then y equals 557, and then way down here. So this corner up here is where it's going to be drawn. So go ahead and uh, put that in, and we'll check it out later. Bam, that's done. Now what we're going to do, we're going to go back into our DCS game here, going to launch that sucker. And then once we're in here, we're going to select that new Lua that we created using the monitor and the options. So <laughs> it's still the old one because we haven't uh, selected a new one here. We go to the options. Resolution still the same. Got it. Got it. Got it. Monitors. This is actually selecting the Lua. One screen demo. Bam. Click OK. It's going to reload and we'll see what happens. So once it reloads, it should work. I'm actually not completely sure. But after that, oh man, that's awesome. We have the GUI on one page now. That is sweet. It looks like it's working already. Let's go to the DC... S A10 Charlie Insta Mission, and we'll see if the MFDs pop up correctly. All right, while it's loading, I'll just tell you in the comments below, there's going to be a few links that you can read up on. If you want to uh, change 
the layout or understand a few more things or things aren't clicking for you, there's some text to try to get it to get it figuring out for you. Also, uh, some people understand pictures a bit more. Bam, you see it now? All right, on the main screen we have. Oh, there's a target somewhere. All right, on the main screen we have the game, and then on my right screen, fork in the river, left Matt, the I'm talking, man. This is my this Groups is my tutorial. Green smoke. This is my tutorial, two, Matt. Label supply is the target location. All right, and on the uh, right screen, you can see we have the DDIs, which I can control with my HOTAS setup here. We got the DS, uh, DSMS TGP, blah 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 blah, etc. and etc. So. Thanks for watching. Check out the comments below to get more information and see you later. Bailey, check it out. Bye.